Hello and welcome to Monmouth in Focus, a program about the services and functions of Monmouth County Government. I'm your host, Cynthia Scott, and today we are in Freehold at the Hall of Records here at the Freeholder Meeting Room. Joining me is Freeholder Pat and Prevoduto, the liaison to the Monmouth County Health Department. Thanks so much for joining us as usual. Very welcome, Cynthia. And Chris Merkel, who is the Public Health Coordinator. Thank you so much, both of you. Always a pleasure to have you here on Monmouth in Focus. Wish we could talk about something a little bit more uplifting, but the flu season is here and we have to deal with it. I know a few months ago you were on with us, Chris, um, basically just talking about preliminary um, measures that you take. But now that we're into it, uh, you know, what's the status here? Well, Cynthia, the status is uh, where we're getting into the winter months and we're starting to see an uptick in cases and flu like we do every year. It's inevitable. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, it's, it's very important that we uh, encourage people to get their flu shot as we discussed previously. Sure, and you know, during the winter season, obviously many of us come down with colds, runny noses. How do we know the difference? What are the symptoms of the flu? The symptoms of the flu are high fever, mm -hmm. um, headache, sore throat, um, just a general feeling very tired. Um, so, and it can be a combination of those symptoms. It doesn't have to be all of them. But, but really, um, the high fever and, and really chills and just wanting to lay in bed are, are the common, yeah. common symptoms. Yeah, the body aches, right? Not yes. wanting to do anything. Absolutely. Yeah, so, so what can someone do to help recover from the flu? Rest, fluids? Or I guess all of the above. I mean, I would see a doctor immediately because in some cases, you know, the physicians will recommend uh, medication and uh, which may shorten the duration uh, of the illness. Uh, the doctor can also provide some uh, information uh, regarding the symptoms to make sure, in fact, it is the flu. And most importantly, make sure you stay hydrated, mm -hmm. number one. Get your rest. And don't go back to work or to school unless you've been fever free for at least 24 hours. And you bring up a good point. Don't go back to school. Don't go back to work unless you've been fever free because it is highly contagious, correct? I mean, yeah, yeah absolutely. Like the, like the freeholder said, it, it's highly contagious. You want to stay home for 24 hours because you don't want to infect your coworkers or, or your fellow students and, and spread the flu more than it needs to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, just the simple things that people need to know tissues, when you sneeze, sneeze into your sleeve, right? I always teach the kids, right? Sneeze into your sleeve <laughs> so to avoid basically just spreading those germs, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, the three main messages are um, stay home if you're sick, um, cover your cough and, and your sleeve, or, and wash your hands frequently. Yeah. We can't forget about hand yes. washing. I, I remember last year when it was really bad, people were flying and you'd see on the news them with the face, everybody at the airports with the face masks as if it was that bad. And you even see people walking around shopping centers and, and, and areas now, they're wearing them again. Yeah, well fortunately um, in the, the Northeast, in, in uh, Central Northeast, specifically New Jersey, uh, Right now we're at the mild stage of the flu season, mm -hmm. but you know, as the winter progresses, right. I'm sure that uh, it's going to get worse. And uh, you know, I'm always happy to say how proactive our Monmouth County Health Department is yeah. uh, by uh, arranging uh, flu shots. Mm -hmm. so. And let's talk a little bit about flu shots again. What do you recommend when it comes to vaccinations? Well, anybody uh, six months and above, Cynthia, should be getting vaccinated for the flu, especially those individuals uh, that, that uh, that are seniors, the elderly, uh, very young children, and those with compromised immune systems should definitely be getting vaccinated for the flu. Um, we saw um, a lot of people unfortunately dying from the flu mm -hmm. last season because we had such an aggressive uh, strain of the flu. Right, right. So I guess when they actually make the flu shot, I know we've discussed this before, mm -hmm. it, it is in a sense a guessing game as to what strain we're going to have that year, correct? Yes, essentially it is an educated guess. As, I, as we spoke before on this program, the CDC um, looks at a couple of different factors when they're deciding which strains to put into the flu vaccine for the United States every year. They look at, number one, historical data. They look at trends in, in past flu seasons. And they also look at other 
parts of, of the world that have their flu season prior to ours. So they take that information and then decide which strains they want in the flu, in the flu vaccine for that year. Sometimes uh, they're right on the mark and sometimes they're a little off. Um, you know, the, the strains can mutate during the season. There's really nothing we can do about that, but we right. want to be conscious of, of the other factors. Uh, hand washing, hand washing is uh, your number one defense in getting not only the flu, but other, other germs and viruses sure. that circulate. Sure. And obviously, like you said, Freelder, call your doctor, and, and obviously you can go to your doctor and get a flu shot, but anywhere else, where are the other areas that people can Well, they, they, they have shots. flu shots are given in pharmacies. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, our Monmouth County Health Department gives flu shots, mm -hmm. uh, which is important. As a matter of fact, um, I know I mentioned this last year, uh, that the Health Department of Monmouth County is one of the only health departments that gives uh, flu vaccines to young children. Uh, and I know, and Chris could attest to this, we had a, a, a very large number of, uh, of youngsters come get their flu shots in, in our department. So, but go to your doctor, go to a local pharmacy, uh, or come to the Monmouth County uh, a health department, and that's really accessible. You just go to, you know, www.visitmonmouth.com, and you can assess uh, access the health department. Yeah, you can find out where you are offering flu shots. I would imagine in certain areas of you hit all the areas of Monmouth County, western, mm -hmm. eastern, northern, coastal. Uh, sometimes you hear also throughout the years that there is a lack of flu shots. People can't get a hold of them. Why is that? Um, it could be a manufacturing issue. Um, it could be that people um, just aren't aware of, of where to get the vaccine. Uh, the vaccine now more than ever is, is widely available. There is no shortage. Mm -hmm. So please get your vaccine, get your children, get your family vaccinated. It's very important. And I, I know people think, oh, it's winter time, it's January, February, this is when I can get the flu. But really, when does the entire flu season last from? Really, the, uh, the, the uh, flu season starts in October officially and usually runs uh, until March. But as we've seen in the past, Cynthia, uh, it, it can last past March. Mm -hmm. So it, it's not too early or too late to get your flu shot. Now is the perfect time to now get it. Now is the perfect time to get it, exactly. And what about just the freezing cold weather? Does that bring on flu season in a sense because people are susceptible to getting sicker during the winter season? The winter season, it's interesting um, because a lot of people aren't outdoors. So yeah. that contributes because flu is, is highly contagious mm -hmm. through uh, shaking hands, um, sneezing, coughing. It, it's transmitted uh, you know, through droplets. Um, and people are indoors right. in the winter. So that's one of the reasons why it spreads so rapidly because mm -hmm. people aren't outdoors. They're in closer quarters right. in a very cold right. season. So it, it tends to um, transmit and, and run through a population quicker. And then that's one of the reasons why. Huh, good point, very interesting. It's probably more prevalent here in the cold states than let's say the real warm states down south or, or the west coast for that matter. So again, bottom line is protect yourself when it comes to tissues and sneezing and coughing and shaking hands, wash your hands and get the flu shot, correct? That's paramount, get the flu shot. I had mine last week. All right. So get the flu shot and uh, I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, thank you both for joining us. Let's stay healthy and stay away from that nasty virus this winter for yes. all of us here. Again, you can go to www.visitmonmouth.com, find out a list of all the places that Monmouth County will be able to Get the, give the flu shot out that you will have access to. I'm Cynthia Scott. Stay healthy, everyone. Have a great day.